Male? Why do we have male? Hey, little Bolivians, this is Scrooge. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. We're back today in actually Arena Tower Defense because they have introduced a new unit. Uh, it's an art corner. Okay. <laughs> so let's go and do that normal video and stuff, and we'll get right on into checking out the brand new unit. So if you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the little like button, do the same subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. it helps me out a lot. So let's get right on into it. First things first, uh, we have some mail. Guess what? You found it. Ooh. 300 gold. I think I have a lot more than that. So, if you go over to the shop, we have a brand, brand new unit that has come out. Where is she? There she is. We have the Accelerator. So basically, it's a, a notorious thief that happens to find an interesting Claro technology. Uh, basically, creates a plasma beam. That's, that's fun. At 100... Wow, 1,500 a place. So, in order to unlock this, you do have to beat Master Mode on a map at least once. So, keep that in mind with this new unit. You do have to at least beat Master Mode once. So, any map. I've made a guide to this. It kind of still works. Please make sure you check the notes on it. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this. Thank you. Plasma Accelerator. This manual is teaching members for advance. Please use the... Wow, there's a lot. Hold on. Please do not stand between the accelerators at all times. It is recommended to put them close to each other uh, when not in use to reduce danger space. The beam is engineered not to harm self and it would take care of some build prototypes may have side effects. There is a lot of dialogue text. There is a lot of dialogue text. I'm reading. So, basically... <laughs> I love that when you claim it, there's this dialogue text. So what it's saying is we need to get some long straight paths and uh, that's the best use for it. So interesting. I like the fact that that includes that. That is actually kind of nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and get on into a run and I will show you what this lovely lady does. So with this unit, I would recommend using something that slows. I would also recommend using John or uh, Mela. And the reason I would recommend both of these is uh, this This is an expensive one. Starting off, it's super expensive. So I would recommend, you know, this is going to be a mid to late game unit. This is not going to be something you're going to start off with. So those are kind of my starting tips and tricks. I'm going to get all nice and pretty and set up uh, to be able to bring it in to show y'all. So give me just a moment and let me get all set up and everything and uh, we'll get rocking and rolling. Okay, so to start off with this unit, you do have to place them down both simultaneously. So you're going to place this down. You are going to get a pop-up the first time you do that. And basically how this works is the two interconnect beams. And any mob that passes through this beam is going to be affected. So I recommend using big, long straightaways. So for both of these, it's basically going to affect the beam as a whole. So as you upgrade either side, it's going to affect everything at once. So starting off, we have 200. The next one is 1475 as of right now. I'll go ahead and upgrade both sides. And then the next one is 3175. I don't have Mela up high enough to where we're going to get in that reduction yet. Basically, the tick is faster, so the longer it stays in the beam, the more damage it takes. This is one reason I recommend using a slowing unit, because it's going to slow the amount of time while they're in there. Like these normal and tough voids easily they're taking out. So this is the rate that it's going at right now. Let me go ahead and upgrade the other side real quick. So yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And again, this is a late game unit. This isn't something you're going to like start off with. So for those of you that are like, oh yeah, I could do use this. No, 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 no. It, it is a different type of unit, especially for the big longer maps that have big, huge straightaways. This is going to be a big help in order to deal a lot of damage, especially in some of the harder modes. However, money is a little bit of a challenge with this unit, and you'll find out when we get to its high-end form. So I'm going to grind up some cash because uh, in order for me to get this to level 4, it's 9,500, so I need to upgrade the rest of my stuff before we keep on going. 
All right, so I have enough money finally to upgrade both of them, so let's go ahead and do that. So upgraded, we're getting 25 damage a tick, which that's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. What's really going to start killing the mobs is when they start going into this line right here. Yes, I do have Fire Mage right there, but here's the deal. It's still a ton of damage before they're even getting here, especially along the straightaway once they're getting over there so i actually have enough we can go ahead and upgrade to the super plasma which basically deals extra damage towards large voids so we can upgrade both sides here in just a moment there we go i do have farms in the back so there you go we're at 50. so the rate is actually doing a lot of damage um, we're actually going to see it here in just a second with this large void so i'm going to kind of let it walk on around so we can go ahead and check it out now, I did do this without farms, and it does take significantly longer in order to get to this stage, so kind of be, be aware. You also can play multiple of these down at the same time, so you can have multiple beams rocking and rolling at the same time. So, this is, yeah, there you go. It, it melted them like butter. Like butter. So, if you do want to have these guys going all at the same time, you can. So, give me a minute. I'm going to get some cash up, and then... uh. We may get multiple easily down, so y'all can see kind of what it does and kind of how broken they can get. Alrighty, we just about have enough cash. Now, I don't have John upgraded all the way, so I'm not having to worry or Malin upgraded all the way. The other unit you could use with this as far as Guardians goes is I would recommend Cassie so that you can get two of these up to max. So, almost there. So, there we go. That is the max stats on this lovely unit. I mean, and I also love... Love the way that it looks. It looks absolutely incredible. I love it. So it's going to do a ton of damage. But one of the other really cool features about this is uh, we can place multiple. So we, we can have multiples of these guys going around on the map at the same time. So I can go ahead and put one like there. On uh, one right there. So now they're going to be affecting everything walking along this line. As you can see, their health is already starting to drop for the back guys. Uh, we could, you know, double up on this run area right here. So basically, they will interconnect to the most recently placed one, which means you could technically have them side by side. Now, if you do delete one, it will not reconnect to another one if you like. So say I delete this or sell this accelerator and then I sell this accelerator. Sell. There, these two are not going to link up. They're not that smart. So kind of keep that in mind that when you do place these guys down that, uh, yeah, they're, you kind of, kind of need to keep them down. So let's go ahead and upgrade these so we can kind of see how disgusting this can get. I kind of also want to take Fire Mage away for a moment so y'all can just kind of see how broken this can kind of get. So I'm going to go ahead and take Fire Mage away. So there we go. Just all of them. And a little bit of Mela. Super, super broken. So... Uh, plebs, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was helpful with the brand new unit. Um, and it's, it's super OP. I, I mean, I could put another one down over here and one all the way down here. Just basically line every single one of my lines with these and, uh, just, there would be just constant damage all the time. We can put one over here. Upgrade that one to max. I'm not using Bela's abilities to the max, but okay. I'll put one right there so they'll get that line again. And just, just all the damage. It's a really slow tick, but when you have a lot of these going at the same time, it, it would be super OP. So OP. Labs, thank you for making it to this part. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy the accelerator, and uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Before we go, guys, I want to give a big shout-out to my lovely knights of the YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate all y'all's support. Y'all are amazing. And a big shout-out to my emerald knights. Thank you so much for the love and support. See y'all next time.